The Mandela Washington Fellowship has been a transformative experience for me. I've been a broadcaster a broadcast journalist actually for the last nine years working both on radio and television and I had dreams and aspirations that I would have wanted to implement even sooner but I only got the confidence after being a part of the Mandela Washington Fellowship. Now after coming back and after working on the leadership development plan it gave me clear goals and guidelines as to how I could actually go on to implementing my plans. Now, I made a very tough decision, which I'd wanted to actually make even sooner, but through the guidance of the leadership development plan, I quit my job at the Department of Broadcasting Services, which is a national broadcast that, I, that I'd worked for for the last nine years. Now, what it did for me is that it gave me the confidence and the structure to go ahead and implement the plan that I always had to become a media entrepreneur, to take control of my life, to do things my way. Yes, it was a challenging, a very challenging experience, but I went ahead and used the inspiration that I got from the fellowship to go ahead and use the platform that currently the cyberspace has given us. So what I've decided to do is to develop an online uh, channel, a YouTube channel, which is where I'm going to air my talk show, Ghana Live, which is going to be launched very soon, as well as my website, also Ghana Live. I'm very excited about this project, especially because it is something that I am in total control of. Over and above that, what I've also decided to do is I've had the confidence to come out with something that I've had for a while and never had the confidence to come out with, especially being a married African woman. I was diagnosed with a condition called endometriosis in the year 2012, which is a chronic reproductive illness affecting 176 million women across the world. Now, I am one of those faces, and it was a very difficult decision, you know, that I had to take to come out and share my story. But what I decided is that sitting in a little corner is not what a leader does. A leader is not afraid of criticism. A leader is not afraid of being shunned. Therefore, I decided to come out and inspire a lot of other women out there who may be dealing with the same thing. What this has done has been very incredible. Over the last couple of months, I've had a lot of women reaching out and saying thank you very much for giving us you know the confidence to also come out and share our challenge with you know conceiving or fertility and fertility is a very big issue but generally in our culture as Africans it's something that is not spoken about it's a taboo and I decided I will come out I would like to come out and be an inspiration for a lot of other women who may be dealing with this, especially being a public figure. It definitely hasn't been easy. I've, I've really been inspired by the number of women who've also come out and just shared their experience, you know, with what they're dealing with currently. I would like to continue on this mission to create awareness about not only endometriosis, but a lot of other conditions, reproductive conditions that are affecting women across the world, starting right with my community. Therefore, I'm setting up a foundation with which will deal specifically with that. I'm very passionate about women and girl empowerment. And as of March this year, I've started having sessions with young ladies between the ages of 15 and 30, which basically are under different themes. The first theme that we met under was self-love, which was something that really resonated with what I was going through at that particular moment, but especially having come out with my challenge with endometriosis, which is something that it really knocked me down and left me even doubting my womanhood. After being married and not being able to do the one thing that I believe every married woman should be able to do. So self-love is something that I could completely resonate with. Therefore, it was the first theme of our get-togethers. We'll be having one every quarter uh, from March onwards, and I'd like to develop the mentorship program you know to grow to impact so many other young women across the country something else that I'm very excited about is the fact that I'm just about to go on an African based internship in Lagos Nigeria where I'll be part of an organization called the International Center for Leadership Development which works with high school students empowering them across the board with regards to entrepreneurship uh, issues of cyber crime awareness as well as youth development in general what it will also do is that it'll help me grow and structure my mentorship program as well. I'm very excited about this opportunity and looking forward to the growth that I would have had after these three months.